All right, y'all, <laughs> I just made it down to the call. I was sitting back there on one of them trees, I think that one there, and uh, I put the call way more to the right of me because uh, the wind was sketchy down here. It was supposed to be eastern, so it was blowing just that way, and uh, it was having some south cuts, which is going kind of, it was east-southeast, but it was cutting. If he would have come down a fence line on my left, he would have winded me, but <clears throat> luckily he decided to come right where I wanted him to. And that's why I set the call where I did. And uh, that new suppressor, I think sounds stinking good. He got drilled. Uh, a little bit of grass though, so I mean the footage isn't necessarily great. I could, it was hard for me to find him, but I finally did. But uh, I had to shoot through a little grass, so. I hope I made a good shot still, because as you all know, sometimes 22250, you hit a little bit of grass with a VMAX, and uh, it might blow up, and you might not get your coyote. <laughs> so, let's see, though. I know he tipped over. I rewatched the footage. He should be just right over here somewhere. Man, these suckers blend in. I can't even see them. Oh, there he is. Found him. He's all the way at the end of the field. Ew, it's a nasty old coyote. <laughs> a nasty one. I don't know how good the shot is because I think it may have hit some grass. It looks, I can't tell yet, but I may have, may have hit him a little back, but let me get him up here for you guys. I think it's a male. I guess it could be a female, but I thought it was a male. That sucker howled at me over there. You probably hear it in the video. And I was like, ah, he's dead. I know he's dead. I triggered him. And uh, that was the end. No, it's a female and the uh, shot is perfect. Right in the shoulder. dry female but uh, I'll take it any day she must have just been cruising through because I literally called out in this field over here just to the north uh, west a little or northeast just a little bit and uh, I didn't call anything just like a week ago and they had just freshly cut baleage over there and I didn't call anything I mean I'm pretty much in the same spot I'm just a little further down they have a better creek system to come through here so that might have aided in getting her to come, but uh, just feel like she has more cover. Uh, but uh, yeah, she got drilled. Uh, I'm gonna do an outro with her, but we're gonna get her out of this tall grass. So we'll see y'all in a minute. Well, y'all. As you can see, we drilled us a nice female coyote. Now, she might be a nasty summertime coyote, but uh, a coyote's a coyote, man, and we'll take them. Uh, I just made a stand over here to the south. Like I think I was saying all this on the video already, but uh, nothing over there, and I have called coyotes over there in the past. I've got one over there I really need to kill. I can't seem to get her to come in ever. She's a real smart old female. 
and uh, I'll get her one of these days, but uh, decided I've been wanting to make that stand, but the cattle's been in there, so we made that, and then she got to howling, and uh, at some pup howls I was playing, and then we went to some pup distresses, and then finally I played pup screams for like 10 seconds, and then next thing I knew I saw a flash in the tall grass, and here she was coming through the grass. I could not find her in the camera, so there ain't going to be much footage of her. She finally shook her head out there, and I found her, and uh, I got the camera on her. She moved a little bit broadside, and I just let that 250 eat, and that, uh, that new can. 224 Vapor from SRT Arms. <laughs> that thing's quiet. I'll tell you that right now. It's a it's a quiet can. Uh, I think you can hear the bullet thwack that coyote pretty good. But um, and I, I you don't need any ears. It's so quiet. I don't need hearing protection. Now I know some guys will say you need to wear ears. So if that's something you want to do, do it. Save your hearing. But I've shot it plenty of times and it don't bother me none at all so <sighs> I'm just gonna keep shooting it and if it bothers me I'll throw on ears but uh, anyways yeah I'll take her she's not a just a little pup but uh, she's small but she's probably two or three years old I, I, her bottom teeth are a little chewed up but they're not bad but she's not like a pup but uh, she come in good and then I just muted the call and just let her work and she gave me plenty of time so thankfully because I couldn't find her in that camera but uh, anyways y'all I'm gonna get on out of here maybe go make one more stand see if we can get a second coyote on the ground we'll see ya